Hello. Hello, teacher. How are you? Good, good, very good. Okay. How was your day? Good, then relax. Today, um, I have the, my day of work for life. Okay. So how, how many hours do you usually work? Around, if the day is normal, around three hours. Okay. From your house? Yes. Okay. That's, that's pretty good. Okay, so this is officially our last class. Uh, we're making up for the half hour that I owed you, 15 minutes on Monday and 15 minutes on Tuesday. So it's June 26th. Okay, um, Aleida and Veronica, how are you? Good evening, teacher. How are you today? I'm, I'm very good teacher. Okay, good. Aleida, can you hear me? Yes, teacher, good evening. Okay, did you guys have a good day? Yes. Okay, that's, that's all right. Okay, so uh, yesterday, uh, we were having a review about the different topics we had Cover. Do you remember that? Do you remember the review we were having yesterday? Yes, teacher. Okay. So um, we had chance um, to discuss as a group until wedding day. That was topic number four. Topic number five was present perfect. Can someone uh, remind us what is the function of the present perfect? When do you use the present perfect? Anybody? Louis, Rick, Veronica, Henry, Elida? Can you hear me? Yes, teacher, but I don't remember. I I remember that some some somebody told me yesterday that is what that you use it when you are doing something that is going to be completed in the future. Okay, uh, in a way, it's true. You're talking about actions that begin in the past, and sometimes when you're speaking, the action is active. So, uh, how do you say me bañado dos veces hoy? In English. I how have. Uh-huh. I have. Taken. I have taken two showers today. Okay, I have taken two showers today. Good. So, uh, today is not finished yet we still have four more hours. So is there a possibility that this person takes a third shower? Maybe. So the two showers are history, but the third shower can still happen. So it is something that you did in the past and sometimes uh, it can happen again in the, in, the, in the futures. So that's why when you use the present perfect, uh, you're talking about actions that are not finished yet. Now, what are the auxiliaries we use in present perfect? Have, teacher. Have. Have or? Have and has. Good. Has. Have and has. Or has or perfect. Exactly. So they have exactly the same function. The only difference is the personal pronoun that you use. So uh, third person singular, you use has. Everybody else, then you use have. It doesn't matter which personal pronoun you're using, the form of the verb is always past participle. 
Mm -hmm. Now, if the information is negative, you use yet at the end. If it's positive, you can add still. Any questions about the present perfect? How do no. you say? Uh -huh. Yes, Luis. No, no, no questions. No questions. Okay. How do you say he terminado la plataforma in English? I have finished. I have finished. I have finished the platform. I have finished the platform. Finished it's the only platform. an example, but have you? Have you finished the platform yet? Yes, teacher, but I have some issues. Okay. I'm, I'm be sure that the answer is correct, but it continue um, says that it's incorrect. Yeah, it, those are platform issues. Like your answers are good. Sometimes the answer is to change punctuation, but sometimes even if you change punctuation, the answers are still wrong. And you know that your answer is good. So when that happens, uh, you know, like just gotta ignore it and, and just keep on going. So Inglés Corporativo is aware that the platform has a, a few issues. So it's, it's nothing to worry about. Okay. okay, anybody else has any other comments or questions? Teacher, I have a question. Yes, ask me. Uh, uh, the way that you are uh, evaluating us uh, always is listening, uh, writing, uh, speaking, or what points are you evaluating? Okay, uh, like I told you the first day of class, you know, having these sessions is important because you guys get to practice, uh, you speak with one another, but uh, the priority for INSAFOR is your performance in the platform. So if, if, if you uh, complete 80% of the platform work, then you're eligible for the next level. So it's not me giving you the, the grade. You guys get your own grade according to how much work you guys have done. <laughs> so- Okay, uh, and you are- uh -huh. What um, what are we gonna uh, do to know our notes or our? Okay, let me share something that I have here. Let me see. Uh -huh. Eight to nine. Let me see if I can find it. The platform tells you when you are eligible to print your your diploma and at the same time it gives you a score according to the number of uh, of exercises that you guys finished if I can find it okay right here Okay, it's in the it's in the WhatsApp chat. Can you see it? Did did you receive this? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay. So you guys will get the same message when the platform uh, reads that you have done uh, the minimum percentage of eighty percent. So you can get 85, 95, 97, 98. Anything that is 80 or more, that's when the platform gives you the option to print your certificate. Oh. Is that clear? Yes, yeah. teacher. Okay. So uh, any other questions or comments related with the platform? No, no. Okay, so um, so when do we use the present perfect? We said that we use the present perfect 
when we are talking about actions that begin in the past, and sometimes when you're speaking, you're still doing it. Other times, you're not doing the action, or you can do it again in the future, maybe in three months, maybe in two years. So um, that's, that's, that's the function of the present perfect. Any questions or comments? No. Okay. Now, uh, another tense that we discussed was uh, time contrast. Do you remember what we mentioned about time contrast? Who remembers that? How many tenses do we have in English? Twelve. Twelve. So when we talk right. about time contrast, we're making reference to the 12 tenses. So um, you use past tense, you use simple present, you use future, you use present perfect. So when you're comparing and you're making time contrast, you use uh, different tenses to make that comparison of ideas. Any questions there? Any questions about the time contrast? No, teacher. If, no, teacher. if, if you guys are familiar with the 12 tenses, like I told you at the beginning of the course, uh, your fluency is going to be much better. And, and therefore you will improve your speaking, your listening, your reading skills, Everything uh, comes included, so keep that in mind. Um, we also read an article about when a person falls in love. Do you remember that article? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and what are the secrets to stay in love according to what we discussed? How do you stay in love? Keeping a good communication, teacher. Yeah, keeping good communication. That is very, very important. Any other important factors to stay in love? To be honest with the, with the couple. Yeah, being honest. That is like the, like, I think it's the top priority. Because many times, you know, relationships, they finish because one of the people have been infidel, you know, so uh, they have been unfaithful. So it's very important to be honest and transparent with the person. Yep. Anything else? Any other tip that you want to share about how to stay in love? No? Okay, so we will, we will have a, what is, a, in your opinion, what is the best time of the year or on a regular year? Imagine that we didn't have emergency. What is the best time of the year? Usually December. Okay, usually December. Why December? Why is December? I agree with you. Yes, for the special parties during uh -huh. this excellent month, for example, 24th December. Okay. And 31 of December. Okay, so 24th, 31st. Yeah, there are different um, reasons. Now, why is most of the people happy at this month of the year? December it can be like maybe, September, uh huh. Maybe maybe um, it's spend, it's spend time with the family. That's a good reason. Yeah, you know you get your vacation. Uh, you get to spend time with your family. Good. We'll Other double, reasons? We we'll receive double double salary. Okay, you get your Christmas bonus exactly. Yeah. So everybody likes uh, bonus. You know, especially if they're related with money, you know, everybody makes a happy face. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so uh, 
you say the Christmas bonus, uh, someone else said, well, uh, you spend time with your family, which is really important too. Any other reasons why people are happy in December? The people is more generous. Yeah, people are more generous. Yeah, and it's related to to the two previous uh, opinions. You know, like Ricardo says, well, people get extra money. And then uh, I think it was Veronica that said that uh, people spend time with their family. So those two factors together, they, they get a, they make a good combination. I also think that December is an excellent month because we feel ourselves like we have uh, to overcome some issues, problems, or bad situation during the year. We feel with a uh, real satisfaction to end a year and giving thanks to God that we are alive and we right. are going to, to initiate a new year. Right. Exactly. Good. That's a very good point too. You know, like. You're alive because many people, they die every day. Um, so you're finishing another year. That's a good reason to be happy and thankful with the Lord. Yep. Anybody else wants to give an opinion? Why are people usually happy in December? Mm, teacher, uh, because yep. many, many families celebrating the Christmas. Okay, right. Yeah. Christmas is... You know, not everybody celebrates Christmas, but uh, I think Christmas is like the best holiday in the year. Yes. Christmas and New Year's. Mm -hmm. Yes, teacher. So this, this, yeah, this year is going to be a little bit unusual and only God knows what type of Christmas we will celebrate in 2020. You know? If it's going to be in another quarantine, if in things are going to be back to normal. In fact, teacher, if we finish this, this terrible year, we are going to be special thanks to God. Right, right. You know, that's what I tell my students at the university. I tell them, look, after all this is over, um, you must see life in a different way. And even little things, you have to be thankful with the Lord and say, look, I mean, like things that we take usually for granted, now we miss them. So that is, okay, so I'm going to uh, assign you to work in pairs. It's going to be real quick. Share screen. Got this here. Do you see the, the image? Yes. Okay. Can somebody take a screenshot and share in the in the WhatsApp chat? Okay. Can somebody do it? Ready. <laughs> Okay, thank you. Okay, so I'm going to make the pairs. We got rooms. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> Kind of slow.
Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Okay. Have you the picture? Uh, sorry, I, I, I can hear. Have you the pictures of the exercise? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I had a picture. Okay. Uh, Are you ready? Number one, what? Hello. Can you hear me, Rick? Hello. Hi. I don't know what happened. Okay, I have you, Aleita, and Rick in this room. Okay. I think. Thank you. Can you hear me, Aleita? Yes, I don't know what what was wrong because I first I was with Ricardo and I don't know if he if he hear me, and then out and then with Luis and then I don't know what happened. <laughs> Okay, so we're back in action. Okay. All right. All okay. right. Hello, Ricardo. Yes. Ricardo. Hi. Hi. Okay. Ricardo, we talk about the, the bonus Christmas. The bonus Christmas in El Salvador. This is most important in El Salvador. But I have two, two <laughs> friends in the United States that they said me that uh, they don't receive the bonus Christmas. And they are in the States. In the United States don't receive the bonus Christmas. The Christmas bonus. Wow. Yes. Yeah, it, it, it's... Only it's uh -huh. They only receive more tips because they work in a in a restaurant. Okay. So are they waiters? Yes. Okay. Hello. Hello. Hello, Hello Ricardo. Ricardo. Can you can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Yes. Yeah. Uh, what good things happens in December? As somebody says, um, more money. Yeah. Uh, more, more food. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And we spend more time with the family or friends. Yes. Right. Okay. That was number two. I'm going to read the, the four. Uh, what things do you usually do in December? It's very cold. The, 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 the people uh, don't live. No? Uh, the people uh, don't walk in the, in the street because it's very cold. Yes, I think uh, the same. They yeah. don't have, they don't have a, a, that, a, that a free right, or liberty to, to, to live up from their houses because the weather, right? But we here in El Salvador, we have an excellent environment, climate, and that, and promoting yeah. some, 
that and for more reason we uh, we we are agreed that December is the most beautiful month for 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 us, right? Uh, the bad of December is the traffic in El Salvador. All people go to the mall to to, <laughs> to yes. shop. <laughs> yes, they. The they places are very crowded, right? Because the shoppings, people become crazy <laughs> buying clothes, uh, devices, right? <laughs> it's a total crazy, right? December for one for one side. Buy food. <laughs> For everything, but this yeah, and the thing of December, I only think in in Jesus' birthday and only that, and my wife's birthday too. Okay. And number six, what are people who are born in December like? Okay. Um, as I told you, my sister. <laughs> Okay, my wife. And what okay. is their personality like? Are they serious, friendly? My wife is friendly, very friendly. Okay. My sister, no. <laughs> my sister <laughs> is so serious, so formal, is the opposite of me. <laughs> December what? When in December were they born? My wife in 12. It's 12. And your sister? 29. 29, okay, good. Yeah. Um, continue. Yes, Henry, we all understand you. I, I work in December, I work uh, in, in um, a, host, host, a host of the party. Ah, okay. <laughs> Are you a DJ? Are you a disc jockey? No, I I the host of the different events, the Christmas party of the of the different different places. Okay. I think because your I think because your career involves that kind of situation, right? And like ah yeah. uh, like ah uh, uh, reporter or. And interviewer. In December uh, are the festivities of, of my city. Antigu? No, Zacatecoluca. Ah, okay. Okay. What part of Zacatecoluca are you from? <laughs> Zacatecoluca, teacher. The city. Yes, okay. the city. Yeah, I think the party is December 25th. One day after Christmas Eve. Is it? Excuse me? I don't hear. When when is the date of the of the party that they have? Uh Is it December 25th? Yeah, the date. 26th. 25th. Okay. Yeah. I went to that celebration one time and it's, it's pretty nice. So in December, do you return to Zacatecoluca? Sorry to hear, I don't hear. Huh? Uh, teacher, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. I don't, I can't hear you. Okay. Let's if return. Uh-huh. If, if, if the question was, if you go back to your city, Zacatecoluca, always in December to celebrate with your parents? Uh-huh. Veronica? Sorry. Can you hear Ricardo? I guess not. Hello. Okay. Hello. Let's Hello, return to the main session. 
Oke, okay, Tisha. Okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen, can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes. So like I told you yesterday, today's session was going to be only um, half half hour for making up the 30 minutes that I owe you. So I just want to say thank you once again for being persistent and being present in most of the classes. So um, I hope to see you again in the future and I wish you the best. Thank you, teacher, likewise. And thank you thank to you, you. Bye. All right. Thank you, you for everything, teacher. God bless you. You're very welcome. Hope to see you again soon. Thank you. You guys take care. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Like All right. Bye-bye. Have a good night. Bye, everybody. Nice to meet you, you too. Bye. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye. See you bye. soon. Bye.